everybody on this second Sunday of Christmas. Um, I'm kind of, as I was saying, the first service kind of out of the loop because last week I took vacation. It's the only time in what, 19 years of ministry since I started back as a synodically authorized minister that I actually took this week between Christmas and Easter, between Christmas and New Year's off. Uh, it's the only time. Um, so it's just, I'm out of sync. But um, at this time. So um, I know it was a good time. We used up the vacation for the year and had a nice time. It was useful because during that time I managed to get a boot on my foot. Um, so I will be uh, doing a lot on Zoom this, for the next couple of weeks because I'm not able to drive. But, uh, you know, I said, Can I take it off at least to drive? And he said, No, you have to put as much weight on the brake as you do walking. I never thought about that. But, so, anyway, so, um, but I, let me go ahead. So, but a couple things come up. We have Tuesday, I believe. Uh, there's a deacons meeting on Tuesday evening, and Thursday, an elders meeting. Um, right? And um, then we have a morning prayer is going to be on the 6th, but I am not going to be doing. Bible study. We do Bible study the second and fourth Sundays, uh, Wednesdays of the month. So Bible study is on the second and fourth Wednesdays, not this week. So that's a misprint in the announcements. But there is morning prayer, and morning prayer on Wednesday includes the fact that that's Epiphany Day, the day of Epiphany. So that'll be, I'm going to do something special for morning prayer if you want to join me at 11 o'clock on Zoom for that. Um, Let's see what else is going on here. We have, um, beginning next week, the 10th, I'm going to start the adult Sunday school class. On, uh, we're going to do the uh, seven works of discipleship, uh, starting with prayer. And we'll be doing that for a couple of weeks on prayer. It's going to be a regular Sunday school hour after the opening. We'll go downstairs. I'll start a Zoom meeting for anybody that can't make it or want to participate on Zoom, that'll be great. Uh, you can participate online. Or if you're not just comfortable hanging out in a, in, a, in a big group, you can go home. You know, you can do it from your home and then come to work. Um, however you want to do it, it'll be on Zoom, as well as downstairs at the table, over the back by the utility, the, um, utility closet, whatever you want to call that back in the corner. Um, so anyway, it's going to be during the Sunday school hour, we'll spend, it's just going to be an ongoing study looking at these um, marks of discipleship. Um, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I know it's one of the things that the survey indicated people were interested in was a Sunday school Bible study. It's a topical study. It's not a text study. It's dealing with the topics. Um, and then um, our Bible study every other Wednesday evening will be a text study. All right, um, and then, and on, in two weeks, on the 17th, we only have one service at 10 o'clock. And then afterwards, we will have our annual meeting on the 17th. Anything else, any voice or concerns? As I said, I was out of the loop. Anything to share? And if not, please stand for our confession. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, whose forgiveness is sure and whose steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Together, let us honestly and humbly confess that we have not lived as God desires. Loving and forgiving God, we confess that we are held captive by sin. In spite of our best efforts, we have gone astray. We have not welcomed the stranger. We have not loved our neighbor. We have not given Christ to one another. Restore us, O God. Wake us up and turn us from our sin. Renew us each day in the light of Christ. Amen. People of God, hear this glad news. By God's endless grace, your sins are forgiven and you are free. 
free from all that holds you back, and free to live in the peaceable realm of God. May you be strengthened in God's love and comforted by Christ's peace and accompanied with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>
invite the kids to come on down. Shall the young women rejoice in the dance, 
and the young man and the old shall be merry. I will turn, turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Worship the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. God has established peace on your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. God gives snow like wool, scattering frost like ashes. The Lord sends forth the word and melts them. The wind blows and the waters flow. The Lord has not done so to any other nation. They do not know God's judgments. Hallelujah. A reading from Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, that he set forth in Christ, as it planned for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven, and things on earth. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him, who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance, toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 